Hey my loves, Mariela here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a returner, I appreciate you. You're a real one. If you are new here, I encourage you to scroll through my channel and watch all the other videos that I've posted on this channel regarding plastic surgery in the Dominican Republic. And if you end up enjoying this content, then make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can get notified every time that I upload these types of videos. So today I will be answering all the questions that you ladies have asked me in the past four videos that I've posted regarding plastic surgery in the Dominican Republic. You guys were curious about my opinion on various plastic surgeons that I didn't mention in my past videos. So today we're gonna do a little chit chat and we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna give you guys all the tea and speaking on tea, I got my tea right here. This is my amazing fat burning Herbalife tea. I have my collagen in here, which helps me with the growth of my hair, skin, and nails. I have my fiber, which helps me keep my tummy on flat, flat. And like I said, I have the fat burning tea that with every cup you burn between 80 to 100 calories. So if you're trying to get snatched, which if you're watching this video, I think you are, you need to get your tea, girl. The link is in the bio below. But anyways, so I'm going to take advantage today to talk about all the surgeons and answer all your questions. So if you want to watch this video, then stay tuned. While you're here, you guys, don't forget to click the like button. Also, don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe. This will definitely help me continue bringing you the content that you guys so much enjoy. And when you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell so you can get notified every time that I upload a video. Before we jump into it, I just want to give you guys a quick disclaimer. Everything that I am talking about today is based 100% solely on my personal opinion. Of course, I've taken the time to research very carefully all the information that I'm going to bring to you today. But once again, everything Thing that I am seeing is based on my personal opinion and everything is alleged y'all know we want to avoid lawsuits here all right so the first thing that we're going to talk about are the doctor updates you guys wanted to know what were my opinions and what research I can find on these specific plastic surgeons. So we're gonna be quick with it because we're gonna be sharing a lot of information. So the first doctor that we're going to talk about is Dr. Marcos Cuevas. So according to my research, Dr. Marcos Cuevas is very safe. As of right now, from what I research, he has no deaths. He is also an affordable surgeon with amazing bedside manners who actually cares about his patients. His results are supernatural, not very vixen. So if you're going for the vixen look, um, he's not someone that I would recommend. However, if you already have a first round with a vixen look and you wanna touch up your body, then this is a surgeon that I definitely do recommend. He's an amazing round two surgeon because he's not a super aggressive doctor. Next, we're going to talk about Doctora Gili de los Santos. Funny story, back when I got surgery about seven years ago, this was my original choice, Doctora Gili de los Santos. Luckily, I didn't go with her. I went with Doctora Duran. Well, not luckily, because I also don't like Doctora Duran. But let's jump into what I think about her and what I learned about her throughout my research. So, Doctora Gili de los Santos is not a trustworthy doctor. She's had several deaths, specifically two back-to-back -back within the last few years. I would say that she is a hit or miss doctor. She will either snatch you or kill you. Whenever she makes a mistake as a surgeon, she's not sympathetic towards the patient. She has no remorse. I would consider her to be an unsafe doctor. And as a matter of fact, many dolls have claimed to wake up in the middle of the surgery and for her to be nowhere to be found. So there's a rumor that she doesn't even do her own surgeries, that she lets her interns do her surgery. 
now we're gonna talk about Dr. Decena. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. If you add this doctor on his group on Facebook, you will think that he is the most amazing doctor ever. He does an amazing facial harmonization. He snatches you up. He is very good with big girls, but ladies, stay away from this doctor. This doctor has eight deaths in the past five years, allegedly. His dolls have had many complications such as infections and burns. If you're willing to take the risk to go to this doctor, I recommend to just go to Cabral because at least you're gonna be 100% snatched if you're willing to risk your life, which I don't recommend. Dr. Decena is a newer plastic surgeon with not much experience and he actually used to work as an assistant for another plastic surgeon before becoming an official plastic surgeon. Like I said, do your own research, but I personally wouldn't recommend him. I need to take a sip of my tea. You guys wanted to know um, if I was able to find any information on Dr. Martin Robles. To be honest, I was unable to find much on that doctor. That could be either a very good sign or a bad sign. I recommend for you to do your own, own research and check if you have any luck. I couldn't find anything about him. I guess he's not that popular. And then Dr. Ricardo Ventura Herrera. All I found out was that he operates out of Corazones Unidos, um, but I was unable to find information on him as well so do your own research when it comes to that doctor now let's jump into talking about dr. Maldonado so when I went into dr. Maldonado's Instagram page yes the work looks impeccable it looks like he snatches but um, I heard that he is not even a plastic surgeon and after hearing that I checked on the official website where you're able to check if a plastic surgeon is certified or not and he is in fact not a plastic surgeon. He is actually a dermatologist which means do not go to him because he's not a real doctor y'all. He's had many deaths. He's even been incarcerated before for malpractice. So there's your answer on that doctor right there. He is a bad communicator and he is overall a doctor that I do not recommend. Stay away as well. Next, we are going to talk about Dr. Michael Jimenez Ferreras. So I wasn't able to find much on him, but I did find that he is a hit or miss doctor. He has actually botched a few girls. I saw many girls complaining on him and he has deaths on his track record. So you wanted to know the tea on him? There you go. And surprisingly, many girls in the comments wanted me to give my input on Dr. Hector Cabral, which I'm surprised because he is a very popular doctor worldwide. He is what they call the king of curves of Dominican Republic. He is overall an artist. He knows what he's doing. However, however, since he is the doctor that has practiced the longest time in the Dominican Republic, his track record is not impeccable. So when it comes to your life, I would say that he is a hit or miss because he takes on so many patients that his interns or his assistants end up doing the majority of the surgeries. He is known for doing amazing BBLs with a tiny, tiny, tiny snatched waist. However, I still wouldn't risk my life for looks. Despite him being the king, he is too much of a risk and I highly do not recommend him. He's killed so many dolls. Like all you have to do is type his name on Google and you will be hip. Not only that, he was deported from the United States of America for conducting illegal plastic surgeries here. Like I don't know many of the details and remember that everything I'm saying is allegedly but you're welcome to put his name on Google and find out for yourself. Like I don't recommend this doctor at all. You guys also wanted to know information about Dr. Patrick St. Louis. So they say that he is a scam artist doctor. The reason why they say that he's a scam artist doctor is because if you go in there for your consultation and you tell him I want lipo here and here, he will conduct lipo here and then he won't conduct the lipo in the other area that you asked for but he'll lie and say that he did. Um, he is known for giving bell pepper shaped booties. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. He has one death under his belt and he also used to work as an assistant for another plastic surgeon. So that answers all your questions regarding 
plastic surgeons. Now we're gonna jump into the doctors that offer packages. So specifically doctors that include recovery homes, which includes massages, meals, a nurse, and things like that in their quilt. Um, the first one would be Doctora Taina Medina. I do not recommend her. Uh, you guys didn't ask me anything about her, but I'm letting you know, I do not recommend her. I have heard horror stories. I have seen horror pictures. Like, I don't recommend this doctor at all. Um, also, Doctora Gigi de los Santos includes um, recovery homes and everything like that in her quote as well. Um, you guys know that I don't recommend her. Dr. John Paul Budicelli, he also includes recovery homes in his quote. I've heard good things about him. I do recommend him. And Dr. Baez also includes recovery homes in his quote. So that concludes the end of this video. Basically, I just wanted to go through all of my comments and all the videos that I posted regarding plastic surgery and answer all the questions that you guys had in this video. If you have any other questions, make sure to ask me below and I'll do another video regarding those questions. Please make sure that when you are picking these plastic surgeons, you do your research, you ask questions, because remember, you don't wanna lose your life for vanity however you still have the right to get your mommy makeover you still have the right to want to feel good and look good so just make sure that you are making good decisions before you proceed on to the next step and before you travel abroad to the Dominican Republic thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this type of content make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can get notified every time that I upload these kinds of videos until the next one you guys